guys welcome back to my channel so today's video will be a bit different than my previous videos because this will be my first ever story time video actually I didn't have any plan on filming today but then I decided that I wanted to film this because I wanted to share what's happening with me and just that and guys if you've seen the title of the video then you already have an idea what I will be talking about today. About three weeks ago, um, I found a lump in my left breast and I got really scared um, and the first thing that comes into my mind is the big C. Of course, I think every woman, every girl in the world who found a lump in their breast, that's the first thing that will come into their mind. And I was really scared and I was like, there's no cancer history in the family and I don't know what to do um, that week that I found out that I have a lump um, that was my schedule to see my family doctor for some other health issue but then I didn't mention to her that I found a lump um, then because I got so scared it was so scary guys I, I tell you guys it's so scary and then I talked to my husband I think two days after and then he was like I think that's just nothing something like that and then as days goes by and the lump didn't disappear I told him that I think something's wrong I think I needed to see my fam my doctor again and then he agreed and scheduled me an appointment with my family doctor and just last week um january 11 i got to see my family doctor our family doctor again and then he did check my boobs and then told me that yeah there is really a lump and then gave me a requisition for me to have an ultrasound and then in the requisition i've read that um, the lump is one centimeter above my nipples and then it's like three centimeter big and I was really scared guys I couldn't sleep at night I was, I was so scared I kept on thinking what if I have a cancer what will happen to Sophia something like that sorry I didn't mean to cry <sighs> so yeah just this afternoon january 18 um i went to the ultrasound to that ultrasound place it was in 8th street um i was with my husband and my daughter and then <sighs> i did the ultrasound the lady told me to change my dress into their um laboratory dress and then have it have the opening in my front then I went inside the room and then the the test didn't last for like five minutes um, he just she just let me lie on the bed then point and let me point where is where the lamp is and then did she did a she did her thing and then after that she said that she'll just go out and check the picture and I was left alone in the room and I was so scared. I kept on praying that please God, please, I need to be alive for my daughter. I don't want another sickness because you know, I have other health issues but I will do a separate story time for that. So let's go back to my story. Then I was alone in the room. I waited for just a couple of minutes and I was kind of shocked when I heard a knock on the door and then a male a guy entered the room and I was like what what what's going on and then followed by the sonologist and she was like oh this is doctor I forgot the name and then she also said that I also called your husband and my husband was there at the back with our baby he was carrying our baby and then the doctor came to me and he was like I've seen the picture and I think the ultrasound looks good. Nothing's wrong with you. And I was like, I think that was the first time that I breath. I was like, oh, really? I was like that. That's, it was so nerve-wracking, guys, I tell you. And then he said that, 
um, there's nothing wrong with you um, you have a fluid field suck in your breast and it's normal for some ladies um, if it becomes painful you can go to your family doctor to have a requisition so that we'll put a needle in it and then we'll drain the water from the that from your breast so but if it doesn't bother you let's just put it that way let's not do anything about it and I was like thank you I was thinking in my mind thank you God thank you thank you and then my husband asked if where did I get it and he said that actually they um based on the studies they don't really know where it really came from something like that and guys I was really scared that the time that I found out that I have a lump and I got I was so relieved finding out that nothing's wrong with me I'm good no other sickness I'm good and I can live longer to be with my family and then yeah and then guys girls especially girls women there out there please do check your boobs for any lump and if ever you found a lump in your breast please go to your doctor and have it checked please because you know cancer is not a joke it's a very serious disease and it was so scary and i am so proud to all the cancer survivor survivors out there and to all the people who were diagnosed with cancer and who's still fighting fighting it I know you will you are not alone in your fight and God is with you yeah yes and now yes I just want to remind everyone please 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 do check your boobs please and guys that's it I'm gonna wrap this video now thank you so much for watching this video yeah thank you so much and subscribe to my channel don't forget see you on my next video bye bye